Welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 133. My name is Jason Erpelding and I'm the broker of Buy and Sell DVC. I'm here with Scott Ferrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com and BuyAndSellDVC.com. And today is August 23rd, 2023. Your 11th month window is uh, July 23rd, 2024. And the 7th month window is March 23rd, 2024. So get your spring break uh, trips planned and booked. I was just going to say, last week we said that we weren't going to talk about Vero Beach, right? I say right right now we're at the 11 month window for Fourth of July for Vero Beach. So <laughs> if you're planning your Vero Beach Fourth of July trip, which is a little more exciting, as I mentioned, now's the time to do it. Jason's already probably done. See, it. now you're already <laughs> tempting me to say more <laughs> things about Vero Beach because okay. But anyway, let's go to the uh, buy and sell side of things, and I just want to mention. I want to mention Hilton Head because we were trying to get into Hilton Head a couple of different times. And really, I mean, Hilton Head availability is extremely tough if you don't own there and make your reservations seven to 11 months in advance. And now that I'm watching more and more, it's because there's a, there's a Hilton Head uh, Facebook group and you just see where people that do get a reservation at Hilton Head, they go there. They fall in love, they find a Hilton Head resale, and they're buying their points. It just, I've seen, you know, I've only been watching it for, say, maybe three to four months, and I've seen that happen, you know, three or four times. Someone's like, you know, we just got done with our stay, we just put an offer on a Hilton Head. We just got done with our stay, just bought a Hilton Head. <laughs> you know, so that, like, like, when, like, when you're out, when people ask me, like, how hard is it to get availability, you know, as a DVC member? Well, there's so many, like, where are you trying to stay? When are you trying to stay? What size room? But the one resort that's very difficult is Hilton Head. And that's, you know, that's a resort that only has one location. So that's where you want to go. And it's not available. It's not, you know, it's not like Walt Disney World where there's plenty of options. You know, Old Key West, Animal Kingdom, and Saratoga seem to have a lot of availability even last minute. So I just want to mention that about Hilton Head. And it's always a little bit tougher because Hilton Head also, the majority of the rooms are two bedrooms. For whatever reason, that's how it was built. It's the only DVC resort like that, but the majority are two bedroom units. So very interesting. What I, we were planning on going this past year, but then we ended up doing the European cruise and it was just too much. So we had to cancel. We were doing a three night trip, but I think it was about, I think it's like a six hour drive from Walt Disney World area around here. I think it's about right. right? I think so. Yeah. So yeah, it's a nice option. And, I, I'd like to check out Hill. I went to Hill, Hill and Head once, maybe seven years ago or something like that. It's been, it's been a long time. I forget, you, you've been Hill and Head. No, I haven't been. We were, we were going to go for uh, January 1st or the 5th. You know, I went to make the reservation first day at the seven month mark. I'm like, hey, this is, you know, I know it's only six points a night, but I'm like, it's January, it's after Christmas, New Year's. It was the first day, it was all, you know, there was no sold out. Right? Yeah, sold out. So uh, it's, a, it's a tough one. We we had an, an old employee who went to Hilton Head back in January, and while they were there, it was snowing. <laughs> they oh. lay on a hammock. It's snowing. I was like, eh, I don't know if I really want to be try to, a beach location in the snow. Not maybe not as much fun personally, but I mean, six points per night is absolutely ridiculous for a room, and it's. I'd like to check that out sometime. So we ended up having to book Vero. So. Oh no, <laughs> he had to book Vero again. <laughs> So woe is me. Yeah. So, uh, um, really did not end in his favor at all. And then I just, so I mentioned Hilton Head and then I, I will tell you, I want to mention Vero Beach. Um, Shocker. But I, I find, again, I guess it has to do with the accommodations that you want there. But so far I've been lucky getting my reservations at Vero Beach under seven months. So I hope that continues. Like, um, because I, I again, I've seen different comments where, like, people aren't getting the room that they want at Vero Beach, but I don't know what dates they're looking for, and I don't know what size room they're looking for. Yeah. So, I've, and I find Vero's much easier to get under seven months than Hilton yeah. Head. Hilton Head's really tough to get. Plus, again, only a small. Most people typically go with the studios, at least on the rental side, and you know, th there's not a lot of studios at Hilton Head. Vero Beach, you know, you've got the studios, then you've got the in-room standard view and the in-room ocean view. So there's three different booking categories too. So I think that probably makes it a little bit easier for those last minute Vero trips. And then I, I want to mention Saratoga Springs and Animal Kingdom. I mean, these two resorts are still the top choice 
for those who plan on making reservations less than seven months and want a chance to experience multiple, resort, multiple resorts while using the membership. It's just, it continues to be, you know, the, the top choice. I mean, someone's like, hey, um, you know, I, I, I kind of want to bounce around. Obviously, it's more focused. I mean, we're, we're not talking about people that want to go to California. I mean, these people are basically, their main choice, majority of the time, is going to be Walt Disney World. They're buying Saratoga Springs, Animal Kingdom. Maybe they're making reservations at those two resorts, 7 to 11 months, but then they're taking chances on where else to stay under 7 months. It still is the case. So I just wanted to touch on that today. Again, if you are in love with Hilton Head, I mean, you just, I mean, and that's, I mean, it's one of those things where if... <laughs> You know, your family is, you're banking on getting that reservation. You, you, need, you need to own that. Yeah, yeah. That's one you need to own that. Yes. yes, absolutely. You just have to own there. Vero Beach, you can get under seven months. You shouldn't have an issue. And then if, uh, you know, Saratoga Springs and Animal Kingdom is still the top choice because of when they expire, the annual dues, and at the price per point that you can get them on the resale side. Yeah, I mean, ever, you know, for the, when I, let me try that. So I, I've been a DVC member now for over 15 years, and Animal Kingdom and Saratoga Springs, especially Animal Kingdom, was the the, the, the top choice back then. It was you know bang for the buck, best option, and it still is. This, this whole time, and you know, for, I'll, I'll say for at least the last 12 years, it's been Saratoga Springs and Animal Kingdom. It's pretty much those the entire way through, and I the majority of my points are at Saratoga Springs. So I mean I, I get it and. I mean, for, for the money, it's it's a fantastic deal. I mean, it's really, really hard to beat Saratoga Springs or, or Animal Kingdom. Late expir as you said, late expiration, lower maintenance fees, especially for Saratoga Springs. Animal Kingdom is more expensive as they do have to take care of the animals. And uh, lower buy-in price, you know, price per point is much, much lower in Saratoga Springs and Animal Kingdom. So, I mean, they've got some great deals. And market over the past couple months has come down a little bit. So, we're seeing some really, really good deals for Animal Kingdom and Saratoga Springs at the moment. And plus, if something happens and you need to sell, those two resorts are relatively easy to sell as well, because again, people They're are always demand. looking people, to get People in. love that. Yeah. yeah, it's a lower price point to get in and all the, you know, for the, all the stuff we've mentioned already, you know, odds are when you go to sell it, you'll probably break even, or if, if, it, if you wait at least a year or two, good chance you're gonna be making money on the deal. Absolutely, and now we're on uh, to the food review of the week. Come here, I'm gonna eat you! Get in my belly! So for today's food review, um, I stepped outside my comfort zone for a little bit and I went with a, uh, a fancy pizza, which has not worked well for me in the past. Um, this was at uh, Mara, which is the quick service restaurant on Animal Kingdom's Jumbo House. I had the fire roasted tomato and herb ricotta, or ricotta, if you, however you want to pronounce it, I say ricotta, ricotta flatbread for $11.75. Fire roasted tomatoes, herb ricotta, tomato sauce, ch ch cheese blend. I don't know what the cheese blend is. At least they tell you, but assuming it's mozzarella and who you knows provolone or something else. And sun a sun dried vinaigrette and toasted arugula. So if you saw the picture before, it, it's covered with a, a lot of arugula on top. Where I, I had to pull some of it off of there because it was just too much, you know, lettuce on top of <laughs> your pizza. But I was really pleasantly surprised by his pizza. It was very flavorful, cheesy. Um, it had so much stuff on there that I don't know if you could barely even qualify it as a flatbread or a pizza. I, I probably wouldn't get it next time just because it, it's very different than what you, I wanted as, for a pizza. But I mean, you know, next time I probably get a pepperoni or something plain. They, they have other different types there, but I would definitely get this again. Maybe again, maybe not next time, but a time after that I would. 7.7, a lot of flavor, and actually a very, very good pizza. So, surprised. That's, that's nice. Very surprised on that. And now we're on to DVC Dash Rental side of things. So, I, I want to address, um, I, I've been reading a lot, you spend a lot of your time online on like the Facebook groups and the different boards and stuff like that. So, you know, you, you've got a good pulse on what's going on in the Disney community. And I, there's been a lot of, a lot of articles written from random companies saying that Disney has been a ghost town and nobody is going to Disney right now. Um, so that's what I would address it a little bit. From what I've heard that the crowds are down about 10% this summer. And if anybody who's been there in the summer knows, it's, it's really crowded in the summer. So to say that you know, it's a ghost town or there's nobody there, 
10% is nothing, you know. So, so if a ride normally has an 80 minute wait time, you know, it's a ghost town now because it's only a 70 minute wait. So I mean, it, it's still very, very crowded here. It's very hot and uh, rainy season has definitely been upon us. It's, it's been raining almost every single day. So I just would make sure that you're prepared with umbrellas, ponchos. Don't believe that there's nobody here. It is hot, it is rainy, it is, it is definitely populated here. Um, I, I mentioned the umbrellas and the ponchos. Personally, I, I recommend umbrellas. I find the ponchos make you too hot. It makes it like a little greenhouse around you. So go with umbrellas if you can. Uh, definitely stay hydrated and make sure you hit up some of the slower rides. A lot of them will call them, you know, sleeping rides, but the slower rides have AC, relax, you know, like Carousel of Progress. Nice air conditioned, slow ride for a while. Just take your time, enjoy it, stay cool, avoid the rain if you can, and do not believe the articles that say that Disney is a ghost town. It, it seems like they're all just trying to promote their own agenda, which it is, as somebody who's local and sees the parks all the time and has clients down here and friends down here, it is busy. Right, and one thing I just want to mention, and like, I mean, this accounts, because if, let's say, let's say cast members are not going as often as they would go because, of, you know, it's like the, the, the average feels like it's, say, seven degrees hotter than normal. I mean, that's factored in it's, as well, it's, right? It's been, I, yes. So, the, 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 so my the, thing is, it's because of, you know, like the cast members I know, because the summer is so much warmer than summers in the past, they're not going as frequently as they would normally go. So when, when, when you read an article and it says crowds are down 10%, well, it's, to me, it's, it's uh, you know, it may, I would love to know what the percentage of that is the cast members. That's a good because point. Because it's, it's not really the people that are vacationing here from all over the world. From what, what, a, what I've read is that they, they, they did it and they compared it to 4th of July weekend this year versus 4th of July weekend last year. And this 4th of July weekend was really, really hot. And there's now blackout dates for certain types of tickets for a lot of locals. So it really wasn't a good gauge. But every, I mean, I, I've probably seen 15, 20 different, you know, online news agencies try to run with these stories. I mean, literally share a picture of um, Epcot World Showcase and show that you know, nobody's in the picture. It says, Disney is a ghost town. It's like, this is the biggest lie right, in right, the right, world. Right. It is busy, it is hot. Yeah, just don't, don't believe everything. Don't think you're gonna be walking onto rides. Just set your expectations. I mean, it, it's business as usual here. Right, right, and I mean, I just, I mean, I mean, this is, I mean, there's still 1,500 people a week moving to Orlando. Really? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's. Uh, With good reason. It's right, nice right. down here. <laughs> but, and it's, and it's supposed to be 1,500 a week every week until 2030. So. Really? Uh, wow, okay. So, I mean, I'm not... That's a lot of people. That explains why the housing market's the way it is down here. It's been on fire, and you can't get anything inexpensive anywhere near Disney, Orlando, the whole area. It's Prices are high, and it's... Yeah. And you also... I mean, and, I mean, and again, when you add... I mean, you also... I mean, there's just... I mean, there's... I mean, besides... I mean, obviously, you work Disney Vacation Club. You have Disney Vacation Club, all the resorts. You have Universal, all the resorts. Sea you have World, all these, yeah. uh, you know... You know, VRBOs, Airbnbs. Oh, yeah. I mean, the number of accommodations that are in Orlando when you, I mean, it's just, I mean, it is, trust me, there is, uh, it's busy here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's busy. So, um, I don't yeah. know, but, uh, yeah. And I will also okay. add, because again, I was at Vero Beach August 4th. They, it was, uh, what the, I just want to, this is what I want to say about, like, again, crowds at Disney. Up, Vero down. Beach is not busy. <laughs> well, well, the thing about this is, like, you check in and, like, Vero Beach is, like, say, at 98% capacity. Mm. But it doesn't no. feel overwhelming. Like, Never. when we were there, I will tell you this. Uh, the majority of the crowd was on the beach and the chairs and the loungers. You know, they were, those were full. 
and then the but the pool wasn't packed. I mean, it was. It's. I mean, again, we love it there. I mean, I I, I hate to bring it up again because I just did, but. Uh, yeah, I was, was going to mention that. And the, right. and the people that love Hilton Head, I'm guessing they love it for the same way because even if the resort's 98% full or 100% full, it's not overwhelming for them. Yeah. Drill Beach always seems mellow and quiet even when they're, they're even always... Even when I'm there. They're always at, yeah, even when you're there. <laughs> even though you hear him screaming going down the slide and his, his, his deep, booming voice, woo! <laughs> he's screaming. I, I have to see that one day. <laughs> but yeah. I'm sorry, I just lost your. No, nah, I, I lost your. I was just say the very end. It's always it's always at ninety eight percent capacity, but it, it it never feels overwhelming or busy. Or you walk through the lobby and typically there's barely anybody in there. I mean, it's it's really nice and relaxing. You you would think at ninety eight capacity there'd be people all over the place, and it's really not. It's one of the most relaxing places you could ever go. And it's interesting that you mentioned uh, July fourth because I don't have a cow in front of me. I feel like July fourth was like on a Tuesday this year. I. I don't know. So it's, you know, if the study was, anyway. But like you mentioned, the passes too, there was a lot of blackouts for uh, yep. July. Yep, a lot, lot of so. blackouts, and it was unseasonably hot here, and this and that, and so it was, so it was down a whopping 10%, which made it a ghost town, according to these sites. <laughs> Wild. So, so right. um, let's wrap it up. That is it for today. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And be sure to come back uh, and see us next yeah, week. Check out our social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Technically, we have a Pinterest tri page that has not been updated in about seven years, so don't go to Pinterest. But anywhere else, check us out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.